I'd like to go ahead and welcome you out to the 2018 Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. It's Championship Day here in Florence, Alabama, and this afternoon, one team will be crowned the winner of the most prestigious title in college fishing. That's the way it's done here on Pickwick, 22-63. Day one produced four limits over 20 pounds, and the top 10 is separated by less than five pounds overall. It's anyone's ball game out on Pickwick Lake today. Oh, yes. One thing is for certain, Today's winners will join a long list of heralded champions. Day two of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's begins now. Give it a boat, Woo! How about that one? Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Big Suey! New big bass of the tournament. Welcome out to the launch site for the 2018 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. 330 college anglers are getting ready to take to the water for day two of tournament action here on Pickwick Lake. With one day of competition in the books, some teams are entering the final day with a boatload of confidence, while others are looking to switch up patterns and try something new to get a few bites. Day two, we're gonna lock through, uh, give it our best shot to come back today. Didn't have a very good first day, but uh, we're gonna try to get as high as we can second day. Day one was pretty tough for us. Uh, we lost some big swim baits and everything last night. We're gonna go out there and see what happens. The conditions out on Pickwick Lake this week have been ideal, setting up for textbook Tennessee River ledge fishing. Today, Mother Nature could play a factor as there's a strong chance of storms beginning mid to late morning. Regardless of how the weather shakes out, anglers are anxious to go out in search of some big bites. Well, we found some fish yesterday, but a lot of them were short within an inch of the limit, so we're just gonna hope for some big bites doing the same thing. We got schools found to catch them just like everyone else, it's just a matter of getting that one big bite. It's what separates you from 15 pounds to 20, so hopefully today we can figure out something. 20 pound bags are attainable out on this body of water. Day one saw a total of four limits over the 20 pound mark cross the scales. And those four teams are separated by just over two and a half pounds entering this final day. For the second place team from right here in Florence, they couldn't be more excited to get things going. Now we're just gonna go out there and go fishing. We got a lot of knowledge on this lake, so hopefully we can put our knowledge together and make it work today. We'll get right into tournament action now, where day one leaders Carter McNeil and Cole Floyd from Bethel University are wasting no time in filling their live well with fish this morning. Yeah, well, right when we pulled up, we just started fan casting. There's a couple of schools of fish right out here on this flat that have been roaming around, so. Ran on a little pot of them over there. They just wasn't very big. Lost a couple two and a half, three pounders, but gonna need a little bit bigger ones than that today to have a yeah. chance to win, so ain't too big of a deal. We just need to get the big ones in the boat. That makes five fish for the pairing from Bethel University. It's a good start to the day here early on, but they know they have to continue to upgrade their limit throughout the day if they want to win this event. Yeah, it feels good to have five in the tank, but if we're going to try to win this thing, we're going to have to do some major upgrading. Yeah, baby. Hauling that keeper fish into the boat, Tristan Crowder and Lake Blassing Game from UNA now have three fish in the box. Entering today in second place, just three one hundredths of an ounce out of first, they're looking to win and become the first school to claim back-to-back -back championships. Just last year, Sloan Pennington and Hunter McCarty used their local knowledge as an advantage taking home this prestigious title. Though many teams have tried, no school has ever won this event back-to-back. Yeah, he feels like a bit like a keeper. Uh, yeah, it's a good one. All right, he's like, he's a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. Keeper's key. Keep his key. Five, four. 
the addition of that fish to the live well makes four fish for the team from UNA. All told, those fish weigh an estimated nine pounds. Definitely not the weight needed to win, but they're pumped to fill the well this early and have a shot at the national championship title. They ain't big, but we'll take them. It's number four. With the action off to a furious pace this morning, it's time now for our first break. The strong ledge bite is continuing over into day two, and the anglers are taking advantage of their opportunities to catch fish. Who will separate themselves from the field by catching a real difference maker? Stay tuned to find out. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Welcome back to day two coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. Today's anglers are competing for a chance to be crowned national champion. And all season, teams have been battling for the coveted Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Bethel University enters today with a seemingly insurmountable lead. If they can manage to weigh in just one limit of fish, that should just about seal the deal. Of course, obviously, our main goal this morning is getting a good limit. We get a, we get a limit in the boat, we pretty much lock school of the year. And that's, that's the ultimate goal is to win that. So we get that <clears throat> this morning sometime. And then we'll go get the win. Got him. You saw? I can't tell. He'll keep. He'll be number five. And that's school of the year right there, buddy. I'd lock that up. Hey, give me some. There's the number one goal. Uh, I feel key. Oh, yeah. He's fat. Following the conclusion of weigh-in today, point totals will be calculated, and a winner will be crowned in the school of the year race. It's a little one, I think. Whoa, whoa. Netting that fish and putting it in the boat completes a limit for the hometown team from UNA. Working their best spot with a variety of baits, the goal now is to find larger fish. Right now we just pulled up on our best spot. We just put our fifth fish in the boat. Uh, we stopped on some, uh, some places uh, back up the, up the lake there. Uh, some places we caught some bigger fish on during practice. We caught one fish, one keeper, and we didn't get another bite off any of them. So uh, we made, went ahead and made the decision to run down here and uh, try to catch five big ones. Yeah. Yes. Nice catch. All right, I got it That quality keeper allows the team from UNA to cull out their smallest fish of the morning, adding about a pound to their total weight. Crowder and Blasting Game are gaining momentum on this final day. Big him. Current leaders Carter McNeil and Cole Floyd from Bethel University are hooked up again. With five fish in the box, they too are looking to cull up early on today. Yes. There we go. 
fishing their second spot of the morning. McNeil and Floyd are working the area that produced big fish for them on day one. They have confidence in this spot and are hoping to catch another giant bass. That'll cool right there. I think we can catch two more big ones. I really, I don't know. I, I lot like confidence on this place. We, you don't get tons of bites, but all you need is all we need is five bites off of it. Feels good to have that kind of weight this early, but we can't let it slack yeah. us any. We still got to fish like we got ten pounds. We can't let up any. I mean, this is the last day. We don't have to throttle them. Catch up, catch up, catch up. That's a giant. Oh yes, my God, sir. oh my God. Huge one. Stay on there. Stay on there, baby. Stay, Stay on there. there. Yes. yes, dude. That's an eight pounder. <laughs> Maybe. Code. That's what I'm talking Maybe about. Seven. Yes. That's gonna help out a lot. Yeah. It's a big man. With those two solid fish catches, the team of Bethel University anglers have added to their weight total, pushing their current five fish limit up around the 20 pound mark. Also looking to catch more than 20 pounds today is the second place team from UNA. Tristan Crowder and Lake Blasingame will have to keep pace with the leaders if they want a shot at winning this event. Oh, right now we're down here in Tennessee uh, fishing a ledge that um, there's a big community hole on down from us, it's, um, but we actually found these fish above the community hole and uh, we're just sitting even with them, throwing up current with a swim bait and uh, dragging a worm a little bit and a jig, but uh, a lot of the smaller fish become on the bottom and our bigger fish become on the swim bait, but uh, we gotta get them, I don't know, it's like a, they'll be like a lot switch sometimes and it's just, they're all good ones. I mean, it's just what we're waiting for. So uh, yeah, we're just sitting down current, throwing up current. I think he's little. That's interesting. Okay, look, your rod was bent. And with that sigh, it's evident this fish will not help their cause. It's starting to become crunch time out on Pickwick Lake. The leaders have set the pace early. Now it's up to the rest of the field to chase them down if things are going to become interesting. Stay tuned to see if anyone can put together a late day charge. Coming up next. For 50 years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. Meet the water's lightest 25 horsepower four-stroke, the all-new Yamaha F25, the new standard in 25 horsepower portable four-strokes. At just 126 pounds, it's got the best power-to-weight ratio of any 25 horsepower four-stroke on the water. With performance that bests the previous Yamaha F25 and features like Yamaha's BTS for precise trolling speeds, batteryless EFI, built-in resting pads, and carry handles, it's the perfect portable power for small boats. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com reel down to the water until it's rip and drag. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Boat US. We're with you on the water. Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Florence Lauderdale Tourism. Go with the flow. 
and by PowerPole Shallow Water Anchor, swift, silent, secure. Day two coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's continues as the sun sits high over Pickwick Lake and the temperatures creep into the low 90s. One of the many struggles brought on by the increase in temperature is keeping fish alive while out on the water. Having the right tools to maintain proper fish care is key for tournament anglers. It's crucial the reason we're back towards the top as of yesterday is that in our live wells, the old angle cooler holds our ice. We put three bags of ice a day in this thing. We use them in his live wells, and we use G-Juice. Best stuff on the market. Big key to fish care is fin clips. Having fin clips for when they turn over, I'll, I'll try to fin clip them instead of fizzing them. Then, having G-Juice, having your big angle cooler, stop slap full of ice and you're ready to fish in the summertime. Cole Walker and Hunter Loudon of Bethel University enter today in third place. The two are working an offshore spot in a major creek arm and having a lot of success. Knowing these fish have been pressured all week, they're taking extra care not to disrupt the area. And these fish are not current related. They'll fire a lot easier, the school will. And uh, strike. you can, as a strike, what are you doing in there, buddy? Anyway, they, uh, the school will usually fire a lot easier in a creek, but these are also unscannable. I've got both of my graphs completely, uh, the sonar is completely cut off. I'm strictly using, all, I've done this all tournament, strictly use nothing but uh, my mapping. Um, I trust what I, I trust my practice, I trust what I see. Is that a better one? No. Okay. I trust my eyes, I trust what we've seen in practice, and we go in with our gut. And so, uh, Every day, here's one too. Um, every day, we've done nothing but scan and practice, get used to and know where they are. That way, when we come up in the tournament, we don't have to spend five minutes searching. We can pull up and make the right cast five times. So, uh, it's just a little tip for the Tennessee River. It's pressured, and they know what a motor and that ping into that graph sounds like. Fishing out on the main river channel about 30 minutes from takeoff are Logan Callahan and Andrew Roten from Mississippi State University. They come into this final day sitting in fifth place with 19.95 pounds. After experiencing an afternoon flurry, they are comfortable with their position as time winds down. Day started off, actually started off slower than yesterday. Yesterday we got two morning bites and this morning we went to our first bite and we didn't get a bite at all. It was actually right here and then uh, we've made a run about 15 miles. We caught a limit real quick. None of them were very big, but uh, I think we've culled all but one of those out now. So definitely had a lot better day, had a lot more bites today. Right here, right here. Golly, eagle cool. Get back in there, get right there. Drawing a late boat number today, Callahan and Roten are among the last flight of boats due in at 4 p.m. This leaves them ample time to find that kicker fish. Also due in during the last flight, our leaders Carter McNeil and Cole Floyd are hoping that their main spot continues to pay off as the day progresses. I swear by that late, that late deal, the last like hour and a half is like, is, is, that's when they eat. I mean, and in practice that's when these, that's when these like set up the best. You know, in the morning they're kind of, they, they're kind of scattered around. And, not really grouped up real well, but later we'll go over them and you know, they'll be all tightened up and stuff. So. Go! What you got? Hang on, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, net, 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 net. That's a good one. There we go, song. I still got this one burning me up up there. Yes, baby. This one needs right there. Their smallest fish in the well at the moment is just under three pounds. So to their estimation, this fish will add another pound or pound and a half to their total weight, putting them up over 24 pounds on the day. 
That concludes our on-the-water coverage here on Championship Day. After the break, we take to the scales to see who managed to catch the winning bag. A national championship is on the line, and a surprise contender from the back of the pack makes an early move to claim the lead. Find out which team it is next. Time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent field. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original Powerbait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. Ten forage inspired natural matte colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. Here at Big Bite Baits, we've got a big line of different plastics, and you know they're all a tool, so you want to have them with you all the time. I made several checks in crowded areas, flipping that right there. Just a six-inch Big Bite Creek tail worm. Here at Big Bite, we came out with four brand new colors this year. All four of these colors are going to be great fish catching baits. Definitely my number one go-to bait that Big Bite has out right now is the Big Bite Battle Bug. Big Bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors. When I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm going to use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works. It works, dude. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Gill, dress like a pro. Eagle Claw Trocar, the world's sharpest fish hook. And by Costa Del Mar Sunglasses, see what's out there. The wait is over and it's time to weigh in fish and crown a winner for the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. Pickwick Lake has kicked out quality fish all week long, and it appears that today is no exception. A pair of anglers from Bryan College are about to display what this lake is capable of. Had a fantastic day yesterday, 1964. Can you do it again? Yes. 2118. Yes, they can. They're going to go to first place. We're getting fish out. They've just took over the lead for this event. Nathan Bell and Cole Sam stake early claim to the lead. By staying patient and working one key area, they were able to amass 20 pounds. Well, we had uh, one particular place that we felt like we could really catch them, and we got down there this morning, there was three boats already there, so I stopped well out from them and just said, hey, do y'all mind if we can somehow get in close with y'all? And they said, sure, come on in. And we fished for probably 20 minutes or so, and most of them left, so we kind of had it to ourselves, and about 
probably an hour later, the fish started biting and we started putting together our bag. The first team in the top three from day one to challenge for the lead are Hunter Loudon and Cole Walker from Bethel University. They only need 19 and change. Let's see how close. 1888, so close. Nathan and Cole right, dodge a major right. bullet as the Bethel University team comes up right just now. short from taking the lead by less than a pound. Sitting in second, entering the final day, the next group to challenge for the lead is the hometown pairing of Tristan Crowder and Lake Blassingame from the University of North Alabama. All right, how many fish have you got? We got five. They've got five. Let's see, it needs to be 1823 to take the lead. 1810 by the skin of your teeth. Yet again, Bryan College remains atop the leaderboard by just ounces, leaving only one team with a chance to overtake Nathan and Cole for the top spot. The day one leaders bring a healthy bag of fish to the stage. They only need 1820. Let's see who's going to win right here. They've done it. 20. Ben lock it in at 25-12. Way to go. And there you have it. Carter McNeil and Cole Floyd are your champions of the 2018 Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. They do it with a winning weight of 47.75 pounds. They take the title in commanding fashion, besting the Bryan College team of Nathan Bell and Cole Sands by nearly seven pounds. Tristan Crowder and Lake Blasingame round out the top three with a two-day total of 40.70 pounds. Carter McNeil and Cole Floyd become the second team from Bethel University to claim this prestigious prestigious championship. Weighing in the heaviest bag of the tournament on the final day, they put their stamp on this event. We ended up just going out and grinding it out all day and ended up catching a big one right there at the end that really bumped us up and uh, overall it was, a, it was a fantastic day. We had real fun out there. Being Ranger Cup qualified, winning this event earns the duo a spot to fish in the Ranger Cup University Challenge on Lake Guntersville this fall. And in the final order of business for the week, Bethel University finishes the season as the winner of the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. With the largest margin of victory in the history of this program, they best second place UNA by more than 700 points. And Murray State finishes in third. The School of the Year competition is the most grueling challenge of the season, testing every member of the team and requiring solid performances at each stop. We've stayed consistent and we've done it with a lot of different anglers. Uh, not just one or two, and so our program is really deep and uh, we've got a lot of really great anglers. What a week it's been here in Florence. Pickwick Lake proved yet again why it's widely considered one of the best bass fishing lakes in the country. We'd like to give a special thanks to our host, the City of Florence, for welcoming our college anglers with open arms this week. Thank you for watching coverage of the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. We'll see you next time. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods, tournament tested and tournament tough.